one. Good morning. This is Dr. John Bennett from Neurosurgical TV from Miami. Uh, I have the pleasure today of of introducing you to Victor Hugo Perez Perez, a noted neuro neurosurgeon and neuroanatomist from Mexico, and we hope he does regular hangouts in neuroanatomy. So first, let me introduce the panel before I turn it over to Victor. Good day, Francesca. Uh, hello, I'm Francesca. I'm a medical student from Bucharest, Romania. Um, I'm in the sixth year and hopefully a medical uh, neurosurgical resident starting from next year. And also the former president of our Walter Dendy Club here. Very good. Welcome, Francesca and uh, Slavin. Hello, everyone. My name is Slavin Gojkovic. I am uh, also a medical student in Zagreb, Croatia, and I am uh, uh, the president of Walter Dandy Club here. So, and I'm really happy to be here. Well, we have the eastern part of uh, Walter Dandy yeah. in Europe. Okay, Raphael, can you hear me, Raphael? Uh, I guess Raphael yes, said. Okay, no, you yeah. please introduce yourself. We can't see your picture there. Yeah, yeah I don't know what's happened, but uh, it seems that the camera is not set up. So, um, okay. I am Dr. Martinez Perez. I'm coming from from Spain. I am currently doing performing a fellowship um, back in Univers uh, University of Chile, doing a skull based surgery and open vascular surgery. And uh, yeah, thank you to let me to join you guys and. Let's see what uh, Dr. Hugo is uh, preparing uh, for us. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, um, very, Rafael was a very good part of the last hangout we had with Yuha and Ipe. And uh, we hope he becomes part of this regular hangout. And Dr. Tala, how are you? Can you please introduce yourself? Oop, I guess the, still the sound is muted, Dr. Tala. Can't hear, so I'll introduce you. Uh, Dr. Tala is a neurosurgeon from uh, Pakistan, and maybe we can get his. Uh, you gotta, it's, yeah, it's, try, can you talk now, Dr. Tala? Can you? Can you hear me? Yeah, now we can. Go ahead, please introduce okay. yourself. Yeah, I'm a neurosurgeon from Pakistan, uh, from Faisalabad. It's in you know state Punjab. Well, I have passion for endoscopic neurosurgery and vascular neurosurgery. Very, very good. Well, welcome, Dr. Tala. You hope, we hope you become a regular part of this, too. Okay, the main man, Victor, from Mexico. Victor, could you please uh, say a few words of introduction before you start your presentation, please? Yes, uh, I'm very glad to hear you, all of you. Uh, I have been doing uh, this uh, kind of work uh, in Mexico City um, for almost um, uh, 26 years. years. So uh, what I have been doing is to uh, inject the arteries in the brain uh, from, the, from the neck. Uh, um, from the jugular uh, veins and carotid arteries, common carotid, common carotid arteries. So once uh, I inject uh, the brain, I proceed to remove to remove it. Uh, so I want to show you some uh, uh, slides of uh, the work I have been doing. Uh, we can divide this uh, work in several parts because uh, you know the knowledge of uh, uh, vascular anatomy of the brain is uh, very wide so now we we are going to start with uh, cavernous sinus uh, anatomy and want to show you some uh, uh, pictures about uh, the supraclinal carotid artery and uh, uh, some uh, videos uh, to understand much better this uh, kind of job. So uh, can you see this uh, slide? Is, uh, uh, do, you, do you see these uh, slides? Yes, we do. Okay, okay. In, in this uh, picture, uh, we have uh, both optic nerves and the chasm, optic chasm and uh, uh, the supraclinal carotid arteries 
uh, and it's the bifurcation in uh, middle cerebral artery and anterior cerebral artery. Both uh, anterior uh, cerebral artery are joining uh, with the communicating anterior uh, artery. Uh, you can see also uh, several uh, small branches that are coming from uh, all of these uh, arteries. So uh, I am a brain surgeon. I did a follow in Detroit, Michigan about uh, 23 years ago. So uh, um, this is a, a, a picture. Uh, I, I want you to, to see this. Uh, you can see in this uh, slide my, uh, my fingers and look at uh, the size of my fingers uh, and the brain arteries. Uh, this, uh, th this is the Willis uh, circle, polygono of Willis. So in this uh, picture, uh, we can see the uh, supraclinal carotid arteries, the anterior cerebral arteries, uh, the middle cerebral arteries, the posterior communicating arteries, the uh, posterior cerebral arteries, uh, and the basilar artery. Uh, this is a very nice uh, picture. Uh, and uh, can you see some anatomical variant in both uh, posterior communicating arteries? I want to, to, to know if uh, you can uh, define a, 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 very, a very nice uh, uh, anatomical variant in this slide. Can you, can you see that? Fetal becomes? Uh, yes, could you see that, Francesca, and Slavin? Yeah, I can see it. I can see it, but the cursor is not moving, so I'm... Okay. Oh, Are you pointing, uh, pointing it out with your cursor, Victor? Yeah. Um, can you see the, the uh, variant, uh, anatomical variant, in both uh, posterior communicating arteries? I, I I don't know. Can you Slavin or uh, Raphael? Uh, yeah, yeah. Or? Yes, they are really large. I think these are fetal posterior communicating arteries. Right? Yes, yes. The, uh, for example, uh, the um, uh, basilar artery is uh, is in the uh, is uh, giving uh, two small uh, P1 segments. And the main, the main uh, flu of the cere posterior cerebral arteries are coming from the posterior communicating arteries. This kind of posterior communicating artery is known as a fetal, fetal uh, variant. Both of them, both of them are, are uh, 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 this kind of uh, anatomical variant. Okay, uh, you can see the tip of the basilar artery, uh, both uh, posterior cerebral arteries in the first segment, P1, of both sides are very, are, are smaller than the posterior communicating artery. Uh, this is known as a fetal uh, variant, uh, fetal uh, variant, anatomical variant. So uh, this is uh, the, the skull base middle and posterior fossa of the skull base uh, and this is the extracranial uh, picture of, of uh, this skull base so uh, this is the cavernous sinus we are going to see several several pictures about the cavernous sinus but um, can you see in, in, in this picture the, the third cranial nerve, the fourth cranial nerve, and the trigeminal nerve with, uh, with uh, their branches? Yes, we can see the trigeminal nerve, the gasserian ganglion. Yes, and of course. And uh, the fourth, uh, fourth nerve, I think it's going below. 
the third yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, and, you, are, you are right. Uh, and third nerve is uh, also going on the far side, on the on the lateral side. Yeah. Uh, if I'm correct. You are right. Um, mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, in here, we, we, we can see the third cranial nerve, and below, below the third cranial, we see the fourth cranial nerve. And between the fourth cranial nerve and the trigeminal nerve, we can see a triangle. This triangle is known as Parkinson, Parkinson's triangle. In this Parkinson's triangle, uh, known also as infratrochlear triangle, we can see the meningo hypophyseal trunk. Let's go to, to see uh, in this uh, picture. Uh, much better. So do, uh, we are seeing the third cranial nerve, the fourth cranial nerve, and the ophthalmic nerve. That uh, is a branch uh, that is coming from the gasserian uh, ganglia. So these arteries are, are very nice, uh, very, very nice, because uh, as, as you can see in this uh, slide, uh, these are some branches of the inferolateral intracavernous artery and the meningo hypophyseal trunk. Let's go to, to see another, another picture. Uh, here we have the third cranial nerve and the fourth cranial nerve. Uh, this triangle is known as the supratrochlear uh, triangle. And then we have the trochlear nerve and the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve. This uh, triangle is known as the infratrochlear uh, triangle and it's also known as Parkinson's triangle. Uh, could you could you tell me uh, what uh, you are doing in, in between uh, or inside the, this uh, Parkinson's triangle in the posterior part of the cavernous sinus? Let's go to 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 to. Okay, can you can you see that? You can see a small small arteries. Uh, these arteries are uh, branches that are coming from the uh, meningo hypophyseal trunk, and you can see also the sixth, the sixth cranial nerve. This is a, a, a picture in which uh, um, we have uh, the supraclinal carotid artery and. Uh, it's a uh, first uh, branch uh, uh, known as the ophthalmic artery. In the left side, we can see the optic nerve. So uh, uh, here I am uh, uh, dissecting the cavernous sinus, and we can see in this uh, picture the intracavernous carotid artery. And in color blue, you can see the, the cavernous sinus. So this is, uh, this is a, a nice, uh, nice uh, picture. Uh, in here, uh, we are seeing the sixth cranial nerve, the adductor nerve, sixth cranial nerve. And uh, we can see the... Um, Okay, uh, uh, here we have the sixth cranial nerve and the branches of the meningo hypophyseal um, trunk. Uh, which are the, the branches of the meningo hypophyseal trunk? Uh, we have uh, mainly three, three branches. Uh, they are known as the tentorial artery of Bernasconi Casinari artery. Uh, the inferior hypophyseal artery and the dorsal meningeal artery. Excuse me, excuse me, Dr. Yes. Victor. Yes. Uh, can you please point out? Uh, I'm sorry to disturb in between. Uh, it will be nice if you point out the structures if there is a cursor. Uh, uh, otherwise, I, it's very... I, I have I have problem 
to 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 follow these arteries uh, because I, I can I can not, not do that uh, I don't know why uh, I think uh, it's a, a a problem of my computer but uh, is is okay 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 thank you okay uh, in this uh, picture. Uh, I'm uh, uh, separating uh, the fourth cranial nerve and the ophthalmic and the ophthalmic uh, uh, nerve of the trigeminal. So uh, we can see the intracavernous carotid artery and also the meningo hypophyseal trunk in the posterior part of this uh, cavernous. Uh, uh, intracarotid, uh, intracavernous carotid artery. And in the lateral side, uh, can you see uh, 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 this uh, small artery? Uh, can you see that in the, in the lateral part of the intracavernous carotid uh, segment? Yes, I think uh, we can see it. Do, do you know the name of uh, that artery? Is a Inferolateral, <clears throat> inferolateral intracavernous artery. This artery is very important because uh, it gives uh, um, irrigation to to the optic uh, to to the uh, to these nerves, the third, fourth, fifth nerves. So I think uh, this uh, picture is uh, beautiful because uh, you can see the meningo hypophyseal trunk and also the inferolateral uh, carotid artery. And this is uh, 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 this uh, 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 arteries can be seen here uh, very, very, very nice. Uh, we can see a very small artery that is coming from the uh, meningo, uh, meningo hypophyseal trunk that is known as a diaphragmatic or a capsular uh, artery of McConnell. In, in the, is the superior, the small, uh, the, the smallest branch of the meningo hypophyseal trunk. And then after we have the, the inferior hypophyseal artery, the tentorial artery or Bernasconi Casinari, and dorsal meningeal uh, artery. And um, in the inferior part of this slide, uh, we can see the, this uh, 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 small artery that is coming from the lateral aspect of the intracavernous carotid artery. Uh, do you know what what's the name of this small artery? I told you, I told you that this the small, uh, yeah, no, the McConnell is the superior. The, the inferior is the inferolateral uh, artery. Inferolateral. Infer, inferolateral, inferolateral. So this artery is very important because, as you can see in this uh, uh, slide, this artery uh, is going to the to to these nerves. Uh, can you see the sixth cranial nerve? You can see the 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 trajet of the sixth cranial nerve inside hmm. the cavernous side. Seven. Yeah, we can see it. Yeah, it's passing uh, through this artery, I think. Yes, it's, yes. Uh, yeah, it's going through very its good. branches very and, good. and forward. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Anteriorly, I mean. Yes, right, right, Slavin. Okay, let's go to, to see another one. Uh, this, uh, this is the uh, carotid intracavernous uh, artery. The meningo hypophyseal trunk. Again, I'm going to repeat this uh this uh, arteries the mcconnell is a superior and the smallest artery uh, and then after we have three three arteries that are coming from the meningo hypophyseal trunk they are known as the tentorial artery or bernasconi casinari artery 
Uh, the other one is uh, uh, inferior hypophyseal artery, and the last is uh, dorsal meningeal artery. And in the inferior uh, uh, and the lateral aspect of the intracavernous carotid artery, we have the inferolateral inferolateral artery. Okay, this is another picture. If, uh, this is another specimen, and we can see in here, in color blue, the intracavernous uh, sinus. Uh, uh, this is the third cranial nerve, uh, fourth cranial nerve, and ophthalmic nerve. So uh, let's go to see these uh, branches of the intracavernous carotid artery. Uh, here uh, we, we can see the third cranial nerve, the fourth cranial nerve, and the fifth cranial nerve, especially the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve. And uh, between the fourth cranial nerve and the ophthalmic uh, branch of the trigeminal nerve, we can see the infratrochlear infra, infra triangle known as Parkinson's triangle. Nice, nice picture. I enjoy too much uh, this, this kind of, uh, of uh, uh, anatomical variants of this uh, uh, cavernous sinus. Uh, here in the, uh, we, we have the third cranial nerve, fourth cranial nerve, and fifth cranial nerve. And between fourth and five, the Parkinson's triangle, in which we can see some branches uh, coming from from uh, those uh, arteries. Uh, here we have a lateral aspect of the of uh, the brain. Um, in this kind of job, uh, first of all, we inject the brain and the veins of the the arteries and the veins of uh, of these brains uh, from the jugular uh, and the caro common carotid artery in the neck. And then after we proceed to to remove the the brain. Uh, in, in this uh, slide, uh, we can see the sylvian fissure. Uh, the sylvian fissure is opened, and we can see the middle cerebral artery and its bifurcation. Can you see that? It's a uh, uh, nice picture. Uh, this is, uh, uh, in, in this picture, we can see the uh, both optic nerves, the optical chasm, and the supraclinal carotid arteries, and their bifurcation in anterior cerebral artery and middle cerebral artery. Uh, in another uh, uh, conference, we are going to talk about the vertebrobasilar artery and their branches. This is very, very uh, important uh, uh, anatomical variants in, in this, uh, in this uh, kind of job. Uh, this is uh, 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 the skull base, middle skull base, in which uh, you can see the optic uh, nerves and also the trigeminal uh, with uh, the branches, with its branches, the ophthalmic, the, the ma maxillar, and uh, man mandibular uh, nerves, and the gasserian uh, ganglia. This is the posterior aspect of the cavernous sinus. Uh, in the top, uh, we can see both uh, supraclinal carotid arteries and the intercavernous uh, sinus in the inferior uh, in the inferior part of this slide you can see some uh, small nerves uh, could you do you know uh, what's the name of this uh, nerve uh, in the in the inferior in both uh, sides in the inferior part of this slide Okay, Slavin, you get a prize if you get this maybe, one. <laughs> maybe the the object sense nerve. 
these nerves in the yeah, lower the part of they are maybe the, maybe the sixth yes. nerve. Yes. Francesca, yes. what do you think? Of course. The sixth nerve, yeah. Maybe. Yes, entering entering to the Dorelos canal. Oh. Yeah, the real, then yeah, then it's six. These uh, nerves, uh, six uh, nerves, are uh, entering sure. into the Dorelos uh, canal, Ch Dorelos channel. Do you know? Okay, this is another picture, uh, in, in other other specimen, in, in which uh, we can see the inferior petrosal sinus and superior petrosal sinus. Uh, this is uh, um, about uh, um, supraclinal carotid arteries. Uh, in the center, uh, in the middle of this uh, slide, we can see the hy hypophysis gland. And the both optic nerves uh, beside the supraclinal carotid arteries. Um, the supraclinal carotid artery in the right side. This this is the ophthalmic uh, carotid artery, and in the left side, the supraclinal carotid artery. And in in. In in this in this uh, specimen, I couldn't define. I I could not define. I could not define the ophthalmic artery of of uh, of in this side in the in the left side. So uh, I I showed you uh, the right ophthalmic artery, and then after I tried to 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 look for the other ophthalmic artery, I, co I couldn't see it in, in this side. I think that the ophthalmic artery in this case, in very rare case, is coming from other side. I'm going to show you again this because this is very important. Okay. Uh, do you hear me? Because uh, uh, yeah. I I I yes, recorded yes, can, yeah. this uh, video in Spanish language, so uh, uh, I cannot see the ophthalmic artery in this in this uh, specimen. We can talk. Uh, we can discuss uh, this kind of uh, specimen specimen in other. Okay. 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 Let's let's go to 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 see another. Uh, here we have the the lateral aspect of the uh, arteries of the brain. Uh, specifically, we have in this the branches of the middle cerebral artery. As you know, middle cerebral artery has uh, four segments. The last one, the uh, segment of uh, this artery, is, a, is, a, is known as cortical segment of the middle cerebral artery, in which uh, in this uh, cortical segment of the, uh, of the middle cerebral artery, we, we, can, we can see uh, several areas that are uh, irrigated by this artery. They are, they, they are known as uh, orbitofrontal, uh, parafrontal, precentral, central area, pariet anterior parietal area, posterior parietal area, angular area, temporal occipital area, temporal posterior, temporal middle or middle temporal area, anterior temporal area and temporopolar area. Um, they are almost um, uh, 12, uh, 12 areas 
irrigated but uh, the middle cerebral artery. Uh, okay, and this is uh, uh, the basal aspect of uh, this brain uh, in which uh, we can see the very beautiful uh, uh, aspect of uh, this uh, artery, supraclinal carotid arteries, vertebrovesilar segment, the posterior communicating arteries, and the middle cerebral artery. This uh, picture is to, to, to see the, the details. Uh, in the base of the skull, uh, you can see in the left uh, picture, we, uh, we can see the intracavernous carotid artery, both optic nerves and the supraclinal carotid arteries. In the right side, uh, we can see the, the venous sinus of uh, the skull base. Uh, again, uh, some pictures, uh, uh, this is the posterior aspect of the of both cavernous sinus, uh, carot supraclinal carotid arteries, tear cranial nerves, and uh, uh, what part of uh, the hypophysis gland uh, you are seeing uh, in this uh, slide, uh, Francesca and Slavin? Uh, could you could you tell me uh, what are you seeing in the center of this uh, slide? Um, that is, uh, is that the hypothesis? Yes. Yes, in the center. And uh, below it is the uh, cella turci turcica. It's, uh, like yes. The, yeah, but uh, I'm not sure what specifically do you mean. Uh, the, uh, hypo the hypothesis divides in, in, two, uh -huh. in two parts. The oh yeah, that is the neuro hypothesis and adeno hypothesis. Right. The right. fundibulum, and this is this can be seen really nicely here. I mean, I can see the the posterior lobe and the anterior lobe here. I'm right. sorry, I, I was texting Francesca something, so she's uh, absent because of that. <laughs> but it's my fault. But uh, Francesca really is. Uh, I mean, she recognizes those structures as well. Yeah, okay. Uh, and the artery, uh, do you recognize the, this, this artery? Uh, mm, this artery is coming from the uh, meningohypophyseal trunk in both sides. This is known, this artery is known as the hypophyseal inferior artery. As you know, the superior uh, hypophyseal artery is coming from the supraclinal carotid artery, but this inferior hypophyseal artery is coming from the uh, meningo hypophyseal trunk. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I I want to show you uh, some some videos about uh, about this. Uh, uh, can you see this video? Excuse me, can you see, can you see yes. this video? Oh, yes, start playing. Uh, yes, yes. But, mm -hmm. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, it's working. Okay. I think. In, in this video, uh, uh, could you, uh, can you hear me? Can you, can you hear me? Yes, and uh, yes. uh, we hear you. Uh, but not okay. the video. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. The, we are going to to remove the the brain. Uh, this is an example. Uh, um, how can we remove uh, the, the this uh, these brains? So, can you hear me now? We can hear you talking, but not the video. Not the video? No. Now? No. No? No. No. Okay. Okay, let me try. Let me try. You, can okay. you commentate, Victor? You can just tell us what the video is saying. 
tape. Now, can you hear me? And can you can you see the video? Here, beginning to hear it, but it's not distinguishable the language. Mm, yeah, yeah, the the yeah. I I I. I now you you can hear me. Uh, no, not that we can't hear the video. We can hear you speaking, but not. No. The video. Okay, I have a problem because uh, the video is uh, the video is uh, in Spanish. Uh, um, so okay. uh, I, I like you to 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 see this video, to watch this video, and then after we can make uh, some observations about this. Okay. Uh, uh, do you agree with me? Yeah, that sounds great. Because yes. this video is is really is really nice video. And, and let's uh, let's go to to see to see it, and then after we can discuss some aspects of this uh, of this uh, video. Okay. Dr. Victor, uh, uh, excuse me, please. If it would be better if you uh, the video is uh, absolutely mute, so it is. It would be better if you help us identify the structures. No, the video is moved. Just watch the video, Rakesh, and we'll talk after. Okay, can can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Okay, pe perfect. Uh, we are going to put uh, uh, some uh, uh, several uh, views about this video to discuss them. Uh, do you agree, Slaven? You muted, Slaven. Yes, yes, yes. I agree. 
Okay. I'm sorry. Here we have the supraclinoid carotid artery giving rise to the anterior cerebral artery, middle cerebral artery, and the posterior communicating artery. So we, we are, I'd like to show you uh, the the these uh, branches of the of the of the middle cerebral artery. So uh, let me let me okay. Uh, look, they are uh, very very nice, very beautiful arteries. Uh, I think uh, uh, let's go to 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 count them. Uh, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Almost eight uh, small branches that are coming from the from the middle cerebral artery. They are known as lenticulo striates arteries lenticulo striates arteries uh, they are going to the basal ganglia and the caudate uh, head of uh, nucleus so let me show you uh, another another uh, another picture of this yes uh, here here uh, we we, we are we, we are seeing that uh, these these uh, small arteries are coming from the anterior communicating art artery uh, the anterior communicating artery is very very small uh, very thin sometimes of course and uh, this uh, anterior communicating artery gives give, gives rise to to, to several branches that are going to the hypothalamus, anterior commissure, and subcajosal area, and also the genus of uh, callosum corpus. So, four, four territories that uh, are coming from this anterior communicating artery. So, let me show you. Uh, the the left side of this middle cerebral artery and these lenticular straight arteries and this is this is a very very interesting artery that i i want you to to tell me the name of this artery i'm very i'm very sure that you know this this artery that is coming from sometimes from the pre uh, pre communicating pre anterior communicating artery and sometimes from the post uh, segment of this communicating anterior communicating artery this artery is very is uh, is uh, a, a small a small artery uh, do you know uh, the name of this dr Tala, do you know Yes, of course. Yeah, right, right. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to put uh, the video, but uh, sorry uh, to 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 because uh, I can't uh, uh, speak uh, uh, with the video. Uh, but let me let me show you the video. Uh, I'm going to put uh, a mute. Okay, so um, I, le, le, let me show you uh, um, this. Um, let, let me show you uh, some some uh, slides that I want you to to see. Um, okay, uh, th in this uh, slide we can see both optic nerves and the uh, uh, supraclinal carotid arteries so uh, look, this is 
after uh, I cut the um, optic nerves, you can see the, the infundibulum um, uh, part of the hypothalamus and some small branches of our arteries in there. So this is the tip of the basilar artery. Okay, le let me let me let me try to to. I, I want to show you uh, some some beautiful slides that I am working now. Uh, so I think in other conference we can talk about this. Uh, look look uh, look at this. Okay, uh, I, I'm going to repeat uh, this this uh, this slide. <coughs> okay, the, the the next. Okay, the the, the next. This is the pons, uh, the cerebellum, uh, and, and look at this. This is this is really nice. Uh, this is uh, known as a mulligan mulligan staining. Um, this uh, staining of uh, mulligan staining uh, goes to the gray substance, and the gray substance. Uh, gets a, a color, a, a very well defined color blue. Uh, all of uh, the color blue you are seeing in this is gray substance. And if you see uh, a cut of the brain in this way, uh, you, you, you can define uh, some, uh, some uh, gray substance. But if you, if you do the mulligan, Staining a look. Yeah, um, I think uh, 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 this is uh, this is uh, um, the end of this conference. Uh, uh, Dr. Bennett, uh, dear friends, uh, Slavin, Francesca, uh, Doctor from Pakistan. Uh, your name, please. Uh, Dr. Tala. Dr. Tella, Dr. Dr. Tella, yeah. uh, I'm very glad uh, uh, to 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 meet you in this uh, conference. Okay, and then we have Rikesh and Dr. Uh, Carlos Ubaguano also. Carlos, are you there? Yeah. Okay. Hello, well, hello. Well, Victor, tremendous, and uh, you know, I, Victor, one thing that I think this lecture showed generally is the interactivity of what you're doing you know the way you were asking student questions students were able to ask you questions this is the power of this platform uh because it's not just watching a video they're able to interact with you do you know what i'm saying victor yes of course yes i, I think that, so. that is a very powerful part of this platform and I hope uh, both the English and the Spanish neurosurgical community recognize the value of it. And we're going to continue to do these and try to involve more and more members uh, or, or people that are in the field of neurosurgery. Hello, Carlos. Say hi to Victor. Hello, 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 hello. Victor. Uh, uh, hello, I think Carlos. you've seen a, a very yeah, nice Carlos, uh, lecture. Carlos, well, he's a neurosurgeon. For, he's in Barcelona now. Yeah. Yes. Congratulations, Carlos. Congratulations. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. I think your lecture is very, very good. Carlos, your, 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 your voice is not working. Anyways, Carlos, uh, I think he's originally from Ecuador. He's been practicing he's in Hungary, Barcelona, uh, and Madrid. He's currently in Barcelona. He's been a, a big supporter of this network since we started. And he also is a a very frequent participant in the Spanish Neurocenteria TV. And Carlos, I'd like to in introduce you to Dr. Tala from Pakistan also. Uh, and you know Slavin and Dr. Rake uh, Rakesh, from, uh, a resident from India. And to your right, Carlos, is Francesca. She's head of the Walter Dandy in Romania. She's a medical student. 
And of course, you know Slavin. Slavin is the wonderkind of neurosurgical students. Oh, there he goes. Okay, very good, uh, Victor. Uh, I think this platform has potential in neuroanatomy. And uh, uh, I hope to work with some organizations that can uh, incorporate it into their curriculum and we can sit down and set it out. And uh, we'll be talking more. I'll talk to Ipe, see what he wants to do next week, see what theme he wants to do, and then consult with you to see what we should do with neurocert neuroanatomy. Does that sound good, Victor? Yeah, of course. Uh, Dr. Tella, I, I agree with you. It's very, very important in this kind of uh, conferences to put the, the cursor, the cursor over the image. But now, now I have a, a problem uh, to, to do that. Um, I'm very sure uh, I'm going to, to correct this, this uh, for the next conference. To put, to put the cursor is very, very important. I know, and also the videos uh, to 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 change the language of the videos. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, that would help. it's me, and actually, it's me, Rakesh from India. It was uh, I. I want to come in, please. It was excellent. It was uh, I, this is the best uh, neuroanatomy video I've ever seen, and neuroanatomy lecture. So it's interactive. You can ask him questions, and he can point things and, out. That's the and the, the pictures are absolutely beautiful. Uh, the way you showed the recurrent artery of Hubner, and uh, we, we could actually count the number of uh, lenticostriate arteries. It was <laughs> awesome. This is okay, let me, let, let me just Thank formally, you. I'm sorry, Rakesh, let me just formally end this uh, and then the, say goodbye to Francesca and, and Carlos. So you can stay around. I'm just going to formally end this. Okay, stick around, Victor. I want to show you how to use that cursor. Okay, yes. thank you, everybody. A good interactive platform of neuroanatomy. Victor Hugo Perez Perez is unveiling the power of the internet.